back to the channel real quick guys uh i want to touch on uh actually it's part two i'll make it part two but i want to touch on a couple of questions i ain't have time to go back and answer some of the comments that i received on that video of that uh caravan that was a uh, hydrostatic <laughs> that's the proper name for it it just uh changed it to the hydro lock uh for short just change it to hydro lock. Well, anyway, the minivan that uh, went through a lot of water. Now, like I say, I uploaded that last night and uh, fell flat to sleep. So when I woke up this morning, there's a few comments on here. Uh, a lot of them, uh, Caper, this guy's garage, uh, Paul Joe, and uh, I hate my bike. They pretty much want to know the same thing. Um, did I remove spark plugs to see uh, if I could unlock it or to see if... Uh, that would free the engine over to spin well i'm out here now at this van i'm trying to um i'm finna remove this intake now i won't waste a lot of time on footage of the intake in fact i just put a link up here to tell you how to get that intake out fairly quickly and easily but uh uh as you can oh you can hear the water still coming out of the intake okay so caper paul joe paul joe x uh remove spark plugs pull ahead any way to unlock it i don't know paul um uh, i'm finna see if spark plugs causing it to stay locked right now i'm finna remove all these spark plugs and see if i can spin it over now so y'all might as well come along with me uh who's this uh driver made a fatal mistake i can't get through this yeah gene Poo. uh yeah that was a terrible mistake i don't know the circumstances but it wasn't a good idea uh like i say i hate mike uh i'd at least pull the spark plugs and see if it would rotate doesn't take much you're right mike and that's exactly what i'm doing buddy thanks for the tip in fact i have to do this the insurance company want me to uh pull the plug they want me to do exactly what you guys are talking about so uh look at this y'all see that that is cylinder five uh in the process of removing that core that core came apart from the plug wow so i had to dig that out y'all let me see if I got I managed to get it out, but uh, y'all be careful removing these plugs, uh, especially if uh, they haven't been out in a while. And I don't think these ever been out because that intake, uh, I had to remove some bolts that you shouldn't have to remove if an intake manifold has been off before. All right, so here's the plugs, and as you can see, they was wet. Um, uh, David just, David your mantra, uh, yeah, hydro lock, it's hydro lock, buddy. Um, Hydrolock happens, man, when you get some uh, liquid inside of a piston. And as you know, you can't compress water. So all it takes is one piston, guys. No matter if it's a V engine or not. All it takes is one piston to stop. One piston stop, everybody else stop. Okay, so uh, there's some water in these pistons. And uh, the engine won't spin over. Now, I am obligated to remove these plugs and see if it's spin over now. So I have my breaker bar on the crankshaft right now. So y'all might as well watch this with me, man. As you can see, I got a quarter turn. As you can see right there, it stopped. Okay, why I do not know. All the spark plugs are out. Let me try the other way. Let me go the other way uh, counterclockwise. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom and quarter turn there we go i'm locked up again guys so i don't know why let's take a look up top and see uh the water spit out i was gonna bring a helper out to spin the starter over and see if the water would spit out the cylinders but i there, that's no use in doing that when the engine still locking up after a quarter turn i don't see much liquid down there so the engine definitely have internal problems now i got an engine on the way so when i replace this engine when i remove it i'm gonna tear it apart and we're gonna look inside and see what's going on because uh the term hydrolock man could mean a lot of things it, it, one thing it means is the engine ain't turning no more so uh for <laughs> I decided to try this again let me go a uh, different direction because uh, I just needed some proof I just needed let me see so I just needed uh see I got a quarter turn and it froze up on me guys so it is definitely locked up is water causing it uh I have the spark plugs out as you can see <laughs> so then a lot of water shoot out when I went my quarter turn so like I said when I take the engine out I will disassemble it on camera and we're gonna find out together what's causing it all right so i gotta run y'all thanks for the questions in the comment thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video